Welcome to Silverstone, where today we'll be having a look at a flywheel hybrid car. The vehicle is a demonstrator car built as part of a collaborative project between Jaguar Cars, Ford Motor Company, Flybrid, ProDrive, Xtrack, Torotrack and Ricardo. The project was part funded by the UK Government through the Technology Strategy Board and the vehicle was built to demonstrate what might be achievable with a flywheel hybrid system in a modern car. The vehicle used for the demonstration is a Jaguar XF 3 litre diesel saloon. It's a 2008 model year car with the 238 horsepower V6 engine and the 6 speed ZF automatic gearbox. In this model year the vehicle is not fitted with stop start as standard but it has had a, an electric stop start system retrofitted in order to enable some of the functionality that we'll see later. The flywheel hybrid system that's fitted to the car has a, a 60 kilowatt power capability. It can store 540 kilojoules of energy at maximum flywheel speed of 60,000 RPM and it's capable of producing a torque at the rear axle of 888 newton meters. The system that's fitted to this test car is fully mechanical so there's no high voltage electric on the car, the highest voltage is 12 volts, yet the system gives full hybrid functionality just like a Toyota Prius or something like this. Using this system we can get really good fuel economy savings uh, on test at Jaguar. This vehicle has recorded over 23% fuel consumption saving in real world use. This is the hybrid system that is fitted to the Jaguar. On this end we have a containment housing inside which the flywheel sits. This housing is evacuated so pumped down to a very low pressure to reduce the uh, parasitic losses associated with spinning the flywheel at very high speed. This is the flywheel. This is a five kilogram part or about uh, 12 pounds in, uh, in imperial units. This is made of carbon fiber and steel. The surface of the flywheel here will be doing about Mach 2 when the flywheel is rotating at full speed. That's why the vacuum is really important. The flywheel is connected to the vehicle via a transmission and here we've got a, a CVT, a continuously variable transmission. And that CVT is connected to the car through uh, output gearing and a clutch and the output to the vehicle comes from the back side here. On the front we have the control hydraulics. These are very similar uh, sorts of hydraulics to what you'd find on a modern automatic gearbox, relatively low pressure uh, and using these we can control the system to smoothly change the amount of power that's either being stored or delivered back to the car. And on the back side of the system around here is a small electrically operated vacuum pump that tops up the vacuum inside the uh, flywheel chamber as necessary. The initial targets of this collaborative project were to demonstrate a new type of hybrid system that had the capability to reduce fuel consumption by 20% whilst also improving the vehicle performance. So with this Jaguar car we were looking for V8 petrol performance but four-cylinder diesel fuel economy. So uh, we are driving around with a Jaguar XF that has one of our flybrid flywheel hybrid systems fitted to it. So it's a fully mechanical kinetic energy recovery system that is uh, connected to the rear axle of this vehicle. And with this system we can really have the full hybrid functionality. So we can uh, do kinetic energy recovery when the vehicle is slowing down. We can also do potential energy recovery when the vehicle is going down a hill. We can use the energy that we store with the flywheel hybrid system to accelerate the vehicle um, and we can use the energy on top of the engine power, but we can also use it instead of the engine power to reduce the fuel consumption. Um, in this configuration here, we have uh, 60 kilowatts, which is about 80 horsepower, um, and we can store about 540 kilojoules um, and with this level of uh, energy um, we can boost the performance for yeah, more than six seconds. So uh, it's quite a considerable torque that the system adds to the vehicle. So the zero to 60 performance is really a lot improved and the torque is basically instant. It doesn't matter what the engine RPM are um, and so we can shave off uh, yeah, more than a second from the zero to 60 time. And um, this vehicle here has a V6 3-litre diesel engine 
and uh, with the additional power um, we get the same acceleration as the V8 petrol. Okay, so uh, we have a mode switch here um, on the center console of the Jaguar um, where we can change between different modes. So the first mode that we can go into is uh, the basically hybrid mode. In this mode uh, the hybrid system is charging up when the vehicle is decelerating and it provides uh, energy back when the vehicle is accelerating to support the engine. So then we also have the um, boost and cruise mode. In that mode, basically, as soon as I lift off from the throttle, the engine cuts out. Um, and this is really done to maximize the energy that can be stored uh, in the flywheel. So we remove all the friction losses from the engine. We remove all the friction losses from the gearbox. The gearbox shifts into neutral and we really can capture the full kinetic energy uh, of the vehicle um, and then basically it charges up the flywheel and when I go back onto the throttle it uses the energy from the flywheel to accelerate the car and when the energy is used up only then it switches back uh, the engine back on. We don't have very high speeds here but we can see that the flywheel is getting exercised reasonably well um, we are currently at around 38,000 RPM and uh, when I lift off you can see that the engine switches off and the flywheel speed is increasing. So we are already now at 42,000 RPM and uh, I have a button here as well on, on the center console um, which I can use to basically force the engine to stay off as long as possible. And I'm now using the flywheel energy to drive along with the engine uh, turned off and I can go a reasonable distance with it. So we are now down to 20,000 RPM and we're using up energy um, and basically now the engine has switched back on again. And in this scenario we can drive along normally um, how you would and whenever you are lifting off um, energy gets charged and whenever you want to accelerate uh, the energy gets used to uh, help the, the engine to propel the vehicle and it's quite a nice way to reduce your fuel consumption in a, in a really non-obtrusive way. And then the next mode that we can go into is uh, a performance mode. In this mode basically the engine charges up the flywheel at every opportunity so you always have a certain level of energy stored into the flywheel and uh, we can go when we go on full throttle we get the full engine power and on top of that we get the full uh, 60 kilowatts, 80 horsepower of the flywheel hybrid system to really boost the performance of this vehicle. Okay, and this was a little insight into how this Jaguar XF with the flywheel hybrid system uh, works and how it functions, what kind of modes you, you can have in, with such a system. And uh, I hope that was quite interesting.